goodness. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going into Trader Baker's. Going into the flea market. I like this place. It's been a little while since I've been here, so I don't really I know I don't really know what to expect. Typically in like my circle of places that I go, it's usually about a month before I, since I've been there, but I think it's actually been two or three months since I've been here. So I'm going to go in, see what we can find today. Next door is Freddy's, which means I'll be getting some cheese curds. So if I'm a good girl and I find lots of good things, I get to go to get some cheese curds. So let's go see what we can find. So we have to get past some of the, like the food and stuff, but oh my gosh. It's $14.99. I don't think that it's old, but it's super cute. Together forever. And amen. Let's see. Oh, I see a witch. Oh, I see a witch. Do you do anything, girl? She is $7.95. I think she used to have a little jack-o'-lantern in her hand. I'm going to assume that she doesn't have her batteries in. <gasps> well, she lights up. Do you do anything else, girl? Sound? <gasps> oh my goodness. There's no sound though. Work. Okay, well, we're not going to get you today, girl, because while you're cool, but you, you're, you're missing your jack-o'-lantern and your sound isn't working. So we can't get you today, but maybe somebody will come in and get you. Oh, I got all excited. I love those animatronic Halloween things. What's in here? Let's just let's let's sneak past all this stuff. See if we can find anything over here. Oh, here's a back scratcher for a dollar. Ooh. So I am looking for Christmas, fall, those sorts of things. That's what I'm. That's what my eyeballs are looking out for. So let's see if we can find those things today. Here, this booth here, here is a deluxe photo album in this original packaging. And it is $2.08. And I want to say, I kind of opened up the box and it's like a, like a binder. So someone might be able to do junk journaling with that. So I'm going to get that for two dollars and eight cents i saw a couple other things like her <gasps> this vintage angel in her original box for six dollars and 28 cents so i'm gonna get her too and i see this like latch hook it's pretty cool it's six dollars and seven cents oh no clowns some candle wick and some sheets. It's a cute little pillow there. And let's see what's on this shelf. A little ew. It's a little poison a kitty cat. New kids on the back. Oh my goodness. Look at this Dixie cup. It's got the barcode in it, so it's not. I mean, it's got the barcode, so it's not too vintage, but oh my gosh, it's six dollars. <laughs> look at him. They're happy to drink out of their Dixie cups. Look, look at us drinking out of these little cups in our bathroom. Aren't we cool? Wow. We have a little owl tin. It's two dollars and seven cents, but it's Dar. Tin box company. It's got the original price tag on it. Ooh, cha cha cha. Oh, that's the Sherman Bear. Oh my gosh. Cha, cha, cha. You do anything? Because you're kind of heavy. Oh my gosh, there's a little caboodle, but I don't think it's old. But I am going to get this little tin here. And look, Tiger. Look at all the Garfield. What do you do? What do you do? Do you do something? I think you're a massager. What do you do? I don't know what you do. You're just a head. Garfield. Okay. 
this is a fun booth. This is a newer booth. I've not seen this booth before. And I've been in here other times. Chris, oh gosh. Oh my. Mark Pate, I found your Halloween costume. And your wig. Well, that's fun. All right. I'm gonna put this in my cart so I don't forget it. I just see something else. This is a Christmas macrame kit that includes the Noel beads for $6.08. I mean, it's never been opened. I'm going to like double check and look inside to make sure that those Noel beads are there. But you can make your own macrame. It does not have a barcode on it. All right, we're going to get this too. All right, I'm seeing this bowl right here, and I have to say, I'm going to get it. It's Pyrex. It's the Hostess Bowl. I have the lid. It's not been in the dishwasher. There is a little bit of wear there, but I have the lid for this bowl. It's $9.77, but I am going to get it so I can reunite it with its lid. I'm going to take it. This is booth 609 right it's there's the counter there's the door so it's right as you walk in it's a great little booth here we've got these little um i've kind of gone back where i was looking at before we've got these little fisher price apples this one has a little bit of a broken stem i'm wanting to say yeah this is made in the usa it's five dollars and 97 cents or five dollars and 57 cents this one is missing the um let's see the stem is broken this one's in really good condition and it is the happy apple so i'm gonna get the happy apple doesn't it makes me happy listen to that it's making all its happy sounds that's pretty amazing too but i don't want to ship big things what are you little fella you are like a little, your little blow mold. These are still in their original package. The little spun ornaments. Okay, ooh, what are these? Little glass of Smurfs. Spuds McKenzie Smurf. I have that mug, or that glass. These, I was looking at these. I'm gonna try these. They are, you get two of them for $26.07. These are really nice little um, bedside lamps. I'm not going to get them because I don't want to ship them. But they are very nice. And I was looking at this. The jar rubbers. Look at their little anthropomorphic jar rubbers. I'm a sucker for this packaging. So I'm going to get this. And here we have Jack and Jill on their um, gelatin. So I wanted to show you this too. This is an amazing price. It's twenty dollars and eight cents for the set of six glasses in their carrier. It's a great carrier too. Look at that. Very cool. Again, I don't want to. I'm shying away from shipping and stuff like that, but. It's a fun pillow. Dog and suds. What is this? Berenstain Bears place it? Captain Ka I had that game. The Captain Kangaroo game? Oh my goodness. I'm bringing it back. This is like memory lane. This is something else I cannot resist because it's in its original packaging. It's never been used, but it's the cradle bells for six dollars and seven cents look at the cat and the bunny and that angry bear and the angry pig oh my gosh so i'm gonna get that this is one of those pop things sweetheart straws the tall plastic straws they're still in there it's great packaging what are these guest towels oh my gosh so fun this is a fun little booth here all right here we've got a clown i can't believe here i'm gonna pick him up and show you this is a little clown planter it's eight dollars and fifty cents 
It isn't. It's kind of cute. I'm not going to get it though. But you're kind of cute for a clown. You're not so bad. Okay. Now let's see what we got over here. We've got some bells. The flower frog for $2, which is not a bad price for that. And some pepper shakers, some more modern. A lot of the booths out here are really, you know, they've gotten things ready for fall. I love these big flocked trees. Bottle brush tree. I might actually get this for myself. For my own use. So I'm going to set this down for a minute though, but there's a cute little creamer for 99 cents. It is John Maddox and Sons Vitrified. It's just kind of cute for 99 cents. So, this booth is nice. It's nice, nicely displayed. It's easy to walk around. Okay, ready for the fall holiday season, which is great. We got on this table. Christmas. This looks like a um life yeah, life is good. These used to do well on eBay. I don't know if they do anymore or not. I'm moving on to Halloween. No vintage Halloween, but I mean, I like to, like I said, I like to find Halloween stuff from the 80s too. All right, I'm going to go back over there and get my, um, my tree. Here is another booth that is ready for the season. Oh, mummy. Mummy dish. A turkey candy dish. I'm selling all of mine here soon. That was a collection I had that I'm moving on from there's little cows Emma loves cows <laughs> oops little cow creamer for four dollars his little salt and pepper shakers are cute for two dollars and fifty cents <laughs> really kind of cute I might get those for Emma we'll get Emma the little cows I don't know when she started liking cows but she does they don't go with the creamer, by the way. This is a neat coffee canister. It's five dollars. Oh, I see Whitman. Okay. We're gonna move you sign. Oh, it's just a it's not a fun Whitman piece. Not that fun. Here's another one of those canisters. I like the milk glass ones that I can do a little zhuzhing to. Moment to give a shout out to Sarah and Sam from Thrift You who sent me this marvelous vintage Liberace charm bracelet. I love it. Thanks, girls. Hello, sugar britches. We found her, but I own this booth here. I was attracted to this box. It's $2, and then you look inside. And it's got all this vintage wrapping paper. Well, I think I'm gonna get that for two dollars. I don't. I just think that that's cool. I think that it's cool. What else do we have in this booth? What's this? Some girls. Oh, this is Austria. It's three dollars. Some girls. This is transfer. It's not hand painted. They're just talking. They're hanging out and talking about their day. Oh, there's a ski bottle. I don't need any more bottles, but I do like this one for three dollars. Look at that. She's skiing. I like that. I think I'm gonna get that one. Hear me. I'm not getting any more bottles. But I'm gonna get that one. It's 
got a good graphic on it. These are cool too, these Atlas. This is a good look. Genuine Mason. Oh, there's Peter Pan. Peter Pan. Spread so easy. Just like three dollars and fifty cents. See, I'm trying to be picky. Like I'm not gonna buy a grab bag, even though I'd love to know what's inside. I'm not gonna do it. Well, hey girl. Choo choo choo. With your blue eyeshadow. Hmm. That is cute, the little donkey. It's on oil canvas. Okay. This is kind of an empty booth, but this booth has quite a bit. Let's go over here and see what's going on. I think I've gotten linens from this booth before, but we're not buying linens. We are not buying linens. We need to sell the linens that we have. We're not even going to look in there. Let's check out this clear glass, though, to see if we see anything that jumps out at us. These are pretty. It's really nice how they have all these white lights. It really does enhance the display a lot. It makes them, like, twinkle and look really pretty. So that's a really good idea. Looks very pretty. Ooh, what's this? Horlicks. Horlicks Lum and Abner. It's a barber's comb jar. It's fourteen fifty. I really like that. Wait, but this says malted milk mixer. Hmm. Oh. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that this is not the original lid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can find this so I can see. So this is not a barber's comb jar. It is actually, the lid does actually go with this and it is a malted milk jar. And Horlicks was a dairy, it's out of Racine, Wisconsin. And mm, $14.50, while it's very cool, it's not the greatest price to pay for it, so I'm gonna leave it. I know it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. If it was definitely a barber's jar, I would definitely get it. But I'm not gonna get it today. Not today. I'm not gonna do it today. Maybe next time I'm in here I might grab it, but if it's still here, it's cool. But I'm not going to get it today. It's a little bit of buzzing here, but I did find these little Home Co. Halloween bears. I usually just buy the Halloween and, maybe, and sometimes the Christmas ones, but they're so cute. I have recently sold these before, so I'm buying again. They're a dollar each. But look at him. He is all dressed up for Halloween. He is just ready to go on his date with his girl and his jack-o'-lantern. Now I'm on case nine, or 988, and I'm seeing several things that I might be interested in. Um, th these little cats, those are four dollars. Those are really cute. I like those. I don't say that owl's probably newer. Um, we've got some fairy lamps in here, but I'm I'm not I'm not gonna get these. There is the Bailey's. Oh, there's a bluebird. He's fifteen. Um, oh, there's a skunk family, and a bunch of Avon down there. I don't know if this is locked or not. We'll see. I don't think... Oh, yeah. No, it's not. Let's check out the skunks. Can I get the skunks from here? Um, Four-piece skunk family for $9.98. I'm going to check those out. I'll open them up and see. I think that this is, yeah, you are new. The little cats here. I really like those. They're four dollars. They've got a lot quite a bit of crazing on them, but I, I kinda like that about them. 
They're so sleepy. They're annoyed cats. But I'm gonna get these. I'll check out the skunks. I think that he's just like a ram. He's Japan, but he I don't think he necessarily goes with these guys. But oh my gosh, look at the face on that one. So it's $10 for the set of four. So I think I'm gonna get these. They're cute. Right here we've got a fun little booth. These are cute. These are a dollar each. The little owl cups. I like those for fall. I'll put those in my cart. <sighs> I thought that said diarrhea. No, it doesn't, Misty. Some vintage cards. Needle threader. Oh, look, we got panties. We got a booth full of panties. Okay, we're gonna. We're not gonna. We have. We don't need those today. We've got plenty. Let's go. Let's go to the next. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I loved this soundtrack. <gasps> it's four dollars. I am a woman in love, and I do anything. That was a great album. Peter, Paul, and Mary, Chet Atkins, Jericho. <sighs> Not looking for record. Ooh, there's some salt and pepper shakers. We will look at them, but I think that they all look pretty modern. Rats. Oh my gosh, gee, remember these? Do they still do these at Red Lobster? When you get like a cocktail, you get it served in this cool lighthouse glass you remember that what's this it wheels all over the place okay oh my gosh there's a mighty mouse here i come to save the day this fox has had enough <laughs> he's out a little bit He's had enough. Well, I am wrapping it up here at Trader Baker's. I got, I'll show you here in a second what I got in the cart, but everything that I got today are things that I had shown you. So if you see something that you might be interested in, you can send me an email, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. Here you can see the things that I picked up, the wrapping paper, the um, photo album, the apple, the tree I'm keeping for myself, the skunk family, the angel, I mean, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff, but I think I got I got some pretty decent stuff here today. There were there were a few new booths that I hadn't seen before, so that was nice to know that more booths are coming in. So it makes it you know more worthwhile to come back again. So if you are down in the Seymour, Indiana area, make sure that you do stop in at Trader Baker's. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye.